So today I'm talking about a HANA with the P2422 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a HANA P2422 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system EVAP vent valve stuck closed. And what does this mean? Well, Hondas have what's called an EVAP system built into them. And this is for emissions. It basically takes the gas vapors from the gas tank and sends them back into the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this system. So it's got to be troubleshoot and know why. And some possible causes of this. Well, it could be a bad vent valve, it could be in the charcoal canister, could be in the wiring, and possibly an EVAP leak. And so the basics of what's going on in the EVAP system is that you're going to have a hose coming from the gas tank. It's going to go up to what's called a charcoal canister, which also contains the vent valve solenoid. This is what the onboard computer seen a problem with. And then the hose is going to go up to the top of the engine where there's a purge valve solenoid. And that basically opens when the engine's running. So all the gas vapors go into the engine and get burnt off. And then it closes when the engine's not running so they don't escape. This is located up on top of the engine. Don't confuse the purge valve with the vent valve. The vent valve is different. The vent valve is basically used by the computer to test the system. It opens and then it shuts at certain times so the onboard computer knows the whole system's working well. This pressure sensor sends information to the onboard computer for what's going on in the system and then it'll tell the vent valve to open or shut at certain times and that's the way that it tests everything. So the first thing to do when you get this code is to go check out the vent valve and it's usually located inside the charcoal canister. Sometimes it can't be separate but most of the time it's going to be a part of the charcoal canister. It'll be located up inside of it. The charcoal canister and the valve can be designed differently. So they can look a little different on different Hondas. But basically, the vent valve is usually a part of the charcoal canister. It'll have like two hoses going to it and a, and a wiring harness. And one of the things you want to do is you want to check out this wiring. and Basically, be aware anything wrong with the wiring, open short, bad connection, blowing fuse, anything like that is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad vent valve. So be sure to check out that. And this whole charcoal canister is going to be located up underneath the vehicle by the gas tank somewhere. Again, it could vary a little bit but it'll be located right up and underneath there by the gas tank somewhere and so once you locate it, the next thing to do is if possible go ahead and test this vent valve a lot of people would go ahead and replace it usually you could just buy a vent valve separately again it's going to vary sometimes you can sometimes you can't but if in doubt you can just buy the whole charcoal canister it's usually more expensive so if you can't just get a hold of the vent valve and swap it out then that usually costs less but you have to do a little research on that. But the next thing to do is to test or replace that vent valve. And if that doesn't solve the problem, if the wiring looks good, that vent valve tests good, and there's no issues there, then the next thing that can cause this problem is going to be an evap leak. That there's the leak going on somewhere inside of the system. And so if you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they take a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the evap system. And wherever the smoke came out, they would know where the leak's at. And this, so this is a good method to do to help find a leak since they can be kind of hard to spot sometimes. You can go around to all those hoses and check them and see if you can visibly see anything cracked or torn off or anything like that but if you can't spot anything then a smoke machine is a good method to use there's some low-cost smoke machines on ebay or amazon there's also some diy smoke machines that you can make up yourself for less than like five ten dollars there's some good youtube videos on that but the next thing to do would be to check for an evap leak to see if that's causing the issue and so that's basically it i just wanted to make a quick video on how you go about fixing a honda with the p2422 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.